Now, a 7.8 magnitude earthquake struck southeastern Iran on Tuesday. Shock waves from the quake were felt right here in the UAE and across the Gulf in scenes eerily reminiscent of last week. Well, rumours of the impact of both earthquakes spread quickly across social media, with many residents sharing pictures of buildings being evacuated and others gathering in lobbies. The incident also brought up an interesting question. What if the epicentre of the earthquake was in the UAE instead of just the aftershocks? So how prepared is the UAE in an event of an emergency? Well, joining us today in the studio to answer that is Dr. Jamal al Hosseini, the Director of Information and Communication Technology and an official spokesman for the National Emergency Crisis and Disaster Management Authority. Welcome to the show. Really appreciate you coming in. Hi, Katie. Thank you for having me. Our pleasure. It's been a very busy 24 hours for you. Obviously, two earthquakes uh, in less than a week. Tell me, how did you and the team at Encima first become aware of the different earthquakes and what was your reaction? Uh, uh, we, we know of all these uh, events and activities uh, through our National Operations Center, NOC, which works 24-7. Uh, we have people that follow all these events. Uh, they are connected and integrated with all of our uh, stakeholders and partners, whether they're in the country or outside of the country, internationally and regionally. Uh, so we get this information uh, right away, and uh, we are in, in contact with the specialized agencies like the Seismic and, and uh, Meteorological Center of the UAE where we get the, you know, the right information and we don't listen to rumors uh, like some of the uh, people on the, on the streets. So. That's a big issue, isn't it? So what happens when the earthquake hits, uh, you, you're aware of the information right away. What's your next step? Is it a press conference? Is it, is it uh, co contacting people to send out the right information and make sure that they're aware of what to do and, and not to panic? There's actually, there's actually a, a procedure that we follow. Uh, there's an escalation procedure uh, where we see you know, where the event is, uh, how uh, serious is the event, uh, you know, what are the, the other uh, parameters into the equation where we form a, a full picture and then there's an escalation procedure if we need to, uh, there's uh, about four levels of escalation, uh, you know, the, the highest being number one. Uh, but we look at all the parameters and all the facts and, and yesterday's, uh, you know, events did not even reach level two at all, but people panicked uh, because we didn't have, and I, I want to assure people this is the main uh, reason why I'm here is to assure people that uh, UAE is very safe. We didn't have even a single injury in the UAE, uh, thank God. Uh, no, no buildings went down like the rumor says. Uh, you know, uh, all of our infrastructure is fine and, and dandy. So uh, we, we had to comfort people and this is why we had a press conference yesterday. Uh, it was in Arabic uh, and this is why I apologize I, I did not appear yesterday in your, in your program. But we had a press conference to make sure that people are comforted we make sure that uh, people are not listening to rumors, but listening to official, uh, you know, people and official organizations telling them the real facts and telling them what to do in the next 24 to 48 hours. And I wanted to ask you about those rumors. I, I think the, uh, the prevalence of social media today means that information will be spread very quickly. A lot of the times that is misinformation now. Uh, this week and last week uh, we saw uh, lots and lots of tweets, lots of Facebook messages as well, often overstating uh, how bad the aftershocks were going to be, whether there were going to be more aftershocks as well. How do you at INSEMA try and manage this when so much of this information can be incorrect? You know, we see, uh, we see social media as a, uh, a challenge and an opportunity as it is same time uh, and this is why you see us very active on our accounts you know we have a Facebook and a Twitter account and uh, you know YouTube account uh, and it was very active yesterday and we had uh, you know we saw a, a big jump in the uh, you know the describers and, and uh, into our accounts uh, and this is why uh, you know uh, we feel it is a very important you know uh, type of media that we have to uh, focus on to reach the public uh, it is a fast way of reaching the public and telling the public the right uh, information, uh, not to create a, a panic circle around us and, and um, you know create a, a disaster from nothing. Uh, so it is it is a uh, it is a very good opportunity for us, and this is why we jump on it right away and we use it all the time. And so, what kind of advice do you have for people if they are involved in an earthquake, whether it's here, uh, whether it's in other parts of the region as well? You were telling me earlier, actually, often a lot of misconceptions saying people evacuate their buildings, but that's not always the best course of action. No, it's not. Uh, th the first thing uh, to do is not to panic, uh, because panicking will just put you in a, uh, a serious uh, position. Uh, w when the earthquake happens, it just happens in a matter of seconds. 
So the first thing you want to do is uh, protect yourself. You know, find a protective cover so that nothing, you know, of a sharp object or, or a heavy object will fall on you. Uh, once the, you know, the earthquake settles, then you can find your way very calmly uh, so that you don't push people and, and create injuries from nothing. Uh, and if you are outside, then you stay away from, you know, uh, buildings or, or, you know, a, uh, a light pole or things that, objects that might fall. Uh, so I think uh, it's, it's, a, uh, it's a matter of uh, common sense, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and, and, and most importantly is you have to educate yourself. Yep. Uh, you have to be aware of what to do, not only in earthquakes, in any type of emergency or crisis, because uh, today our number one partner is the public. Uh, we want the public to be very, very educated so that they can help us, you know, help themselves and, uh, and keep the UAE as safe as possible. So if you are at home, if you are at work, where's the safest place to hide? Is it under your desk? Is it, is it under the stairs? Is well, it in the corner of your living room? Well, it depends, it depends on, on your home. If, if, if you have a, uh, you know, a, a very uh, sturdy wall, then you should, you should stand to that sturdy wall so that, you know, anything falling from, this, from the ceiling will not fall on you. If you have a, uh, a very sturdy table, maybe you can hide under the table. Uh, I am, I am uh, actually, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not an expert in, in earthquakes, but this is common sense that I've been reading about since, you know, I'm, I'm in crisis and disaster, so I, I, I read common sense in terms of earthquakes, and everybody has different suggestions in that sense. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, the first thing to do is, and I want people to remember, is protect yourself from flying objects and things that move within your, your home or your apartment. Mm -hmm. So they're looking more generally at disasters themselves. Uh, I think there's uh, often a lot of concern when we hear the word nuclear. We saw what happened in Fukushima. Even there's uh, been uh, big calls for uh, Iran's uh, nuclear work to be reviewed as well following these earthquakes. Now the UAE has a new plant over at Baraka there. What kind of contingency plan do you have in place if an accident happened? Well, uh, first I, I must assure people that the, uh, the nuclear program of the UAE is one of the safest in the world. Uh, it, it's not uh, from, from our words, uh, but from the international society. Uh, we ha we w what we see, uh, what you guys see in the media is only the tip of the iceberg. You know, most of our work uh, and the majority of our work is uh, something that has not been seen because we, we work with, uh, you know, the, the uh, specialized agency like FINAR the federal agency for uh, nuclear regulation to set the plans uh, for prevention, mitigation, response and recovery. Uh, you know, uh, people just think that the response is the most important, which is not true. You know, we have to set the plans for mitigation and prevention. We try to prevent something from happening. If it happens, then we try to, to lower its impact. And if it happens, then we look for, you know, the uh, uh, response and recovery plans. But uh, most of our work in that arena, uh, putting the, the plan, the proper plans, uh, making sure that these plans are uh, best fit for the UAE, uh, exercise on these, on these plans, make sure that everybody understands these plans if, uh, God forbid, something happens. But uh, again, I was to, uh, must assure everybody that it is one of the safest programs uh, in the world and we, have to, we hope to keep it that way.